<laughs> so um, they just wanted to. Thank you. Just wanted to speak a little bit about people who are spiritual um, and going into some kind of coaching. And uh, you know, because often once you once you start spiritual work, uh, like I used to work in the stock market, but once you start doing spiritual work, sometimes the careers that you did in the past um, no longer seem to align. Like when I was working in the stock market, it was very ego-based, very cutthroat, dishon you know, um, very aggressive environment. So once you start doing like you know, forgiveness and love and all of that stuff, it you know, you may, you may not feel like you're resonating in the right. Environment, but you know, other people like I'm a spiritual coach, as uh, so, uh, author, and other other people tend to do similar type of things or move mm -hmm. from environments which are more ego based into more. I mean, maybe not, but uh, someone's asking. So, you know, the, I think one of the things to do is um, just keep releasing on any fear you've got around it. Um, a lot of people once they go into um, mm -hmm. spiritual work have a lack of confidence um, and um, uh, so we'll be going on into this later on but just see what your own inner dialogue is like uh, I'm not good enough to be a coach or people won't like me or I haven't got enough experience to share with other people so you'll get your you just have to see what are your thoughts like let's say you have an, an inspired idea I'm, I want to be a coach I want to coach people and, and share my experience with them and help them to get well. You may get, you may get uh, critical thoughts, negative thoughts coming up like uh, I haven't got enough confidence or I won't be able to find, make enough money doing it, I won't be able to find the right people, um, whatever. So you, get, you, you make a list of the dominant thoughts because any thought that repeats in your head is a belief. You know, so that's what that's the difference between a thought and a belief. Like if you have a thought, the Course of Miracles talks about me you know, all thoughts are meaningless. It's one of the first lessons in a Course of Miracles. So when a thought is meaningless, it doesn't stay in your head, you see, it doesn't stay. It's like the grass is green, it never it doesn't really bother you. You know. People are gonna think I'm stupid or I'm not good enough. That thought can might stay. So it's an important thought. Or the Course of Miracles would call it a special thought. Anything that is special um, is part of the ego, because the ego, uh, the ego, is one of the the main machinery by which the ego is able to hold on and create this uh, aspect of separation in the universe. This experiencing of separation and fear is through symbolically making thoughts, objects, people, places, and situations special. So these thoughts, like I'm not good enough, uh, I'll never find any clients, or whatever, you know, you just, um, one of the things we'll be doing here um, is uh, something I learned, which is, which is a modification of Lesson 14 from A Course in Miracles. Lesson 14 says, God did not create cancer, so it's not real. Um, and, or a modified way of saying that is I cancel my belief in cancer, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. But you can say, you know, I cancel my belief I'm not good enough to be a coach. Uh, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or God did not create bad coaches, so they're not real, you see. Oh, and also, or uh, I cancel my belief there's not enough money, I won't make enough money coaching to, to survive. You know, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. And as you keep doing that and clear and sit with your fear, if you feel any fear, just sit with that feeling and let it dissipate and your vibration goes up to a higher vibration and that higher vibration attracts miracles and synchronicities which will align you to the work you're supposed to do. So you might get a block of where am I going to find my first, first coaching client? You know, or I'm not good enough or there's no point in taking any action or, or doing anything. But you know, I found like in my own, because my own thing I found like there'll always be a way. Uh, one of the things, there's a, there's a spiritual principle which is uh, well, I believe in both principles, attraction, not promotion. It's really, really nice if you can attract. But it's also, I think, also useful if you're, in, if you're a coach and you need to pay the rent to also market as well. But, um, you know, like I shoot, um, I think I'm shooting one now, like YouTube videos. And I found, I put that, I've written a book, shoot YouTube videos, and then I find if you put that stuff out into the universe, it's easier for the right 
clients to find you? Because, you know, I think everyone has their unique gifts and their unique message to share. It's just finding the right people who value that and who you can help. I think a lot of the things... So, another thing that I found, because I think money is a really interesting thing with... with um, and spirituality, because there's a lot of negative beliefs around spirituality and money. Like, you shouldn't, you know, all spiritual work should be free. Mm. Yeah, it's good to be poor. You see, the more, you know, the poorer you are, you must be more spiritual. So if I, <laughs> if I came on with a little sackcloth and no, I was homeless, probably I should be more spiritual than if I'm wearing a jumper. So you can have all kinds of. These are beliefs from the collective. We're all part of the human collective, and we all psychically pick it up. And there's cultural collective beliefs and there's global collective beliefs which we, you know, uh, which we tune into. So you, you cancel those, feel out the feelings. But another one that I had, just sharing this for the person who asked, is like, you know, there's this great thing, uh, you know, the, the thought that, you know, the thought that kind of, well, my work isn't good enough to charge or mm -hmm. whatever it is. So I thought, well, you know, if you just sit with that, cancel the beliefs, and think, the universe will always show you a way. Like I, I have the thing of like, well, like I have, I have a YouTube video out, like the first session is free. You know, the first session is free. So people can see who I am, they can see my videos, I give them one session, they can check it out. And then if they're, if they're happy, and that for me was um, a very, very easy way of, um, you know, of effortlessly doing it. But I think in this day and age also the universe will inspire you um, <clears throat> Recently, actually, one of my uh, coaching clients, who's also a, uh, a marketer, has offered to help me. See, so it's like as you do the thing, as you let go of your fear, and you start to you start to get these inspirations of what in your heart, what if you're connected to spirit, you you know what 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 are the gifts if you had removed enough of your ego? I mean, some people are automatically know what they are. It might be to be singing or it might be to be to being an artist or it might be to be a dancer or it might be to be a teacher or a coach you know but the, you, you'll get you'll get inspiration and then and then the universe will show you the way so it's always uh, another thing I'd say in terms of work which is a bit different is clear your clear your fear cancel your negative beliefs <coughs> like every day I'd sit with my fear feel feel that energy of fear out so you go to a higher vibration um, I'll be talking about the field of feelings a bit later on, how to do that uh, in, a, in a good way. Then if you've got any, any dialogue, just cancel that. I cancel, I'm not good enough to coach. I'm an infinite being. Or I cancel my belief there's not enough money out there. I'll never be able to pay the rent. You know, I'm an infinite being. So you keep doing that. And then once you've cleared enough, take some action. And then, and then if you take some action and there's fear, then clear the fear and any negative beliefs around that and then more opportunities will open up. And as you do that, you know, you, you just clear. Because often there can be tranches of fear. Um, this is another thing that I say, and especially with work, is because um, for me, of course, the miracles is aligned with enlightenment. So it's not to just necessarily, you can, you can be in the world and transcend the world. You can be in the world and transcend the world. So you can be a coach and transcend everything in your ego, which is a resistance to coaching. Or you can be a dancer and transcend all your fears and negative beliefs while being a dancer. And, you know, as someone was mentioning Sufis, you know, the Sufis, they have the whirling dervishes. You see the whirling dervishes. Now, really, I mean, I think this is something that we can all intuitively connect to. You know, the whirling dervishes are not in their ego. When they do that endless dancing, you know, that effortless, they're, they're tapped into like universal, it's like infinite energy forever. And, it's, and their, their egos are not dancing. The universe is dancing them like an instrument and they're plugged into an infinite supply of energy. So when your ego is out of the way, the ego doesn't dance. The universe dan dances the empty channel, you see. And it's an endless supply of energy. So you can be, that, that principle is when you transcend all the blocks to whatever you're doing, or if you're a singer or you're a coach, you can transcend it while you're doing the work. Then eventually this state of effortless grace mm -hmm. takes place. So how do you, 
So, you know, you, get your, you might get your first coaching client. If it's like coaching, let's take coaching. So you might get your first coaching client, you might have thoughts like, I'm not good enough. I don't know if I want to charge for this, or should I charge for this, or I bet they're judging me as not. So you cancel all of those thoughts, feel out the feelings. You can also do something we'll be doing later, which is going to the observer of any thought and negative thoughts, so that you disidentify from the negative thoughts, or cancel the beliefs, feel out the energy, and eventually what you're doing is you can transcend your ego's resistance to being a coach, mm -hmm. meaning that there's no fear, there's no negative thoughts, and eventually what will happen is you'll be an open channel to the universe coaching. Actually, your ego won't coach them, the universe will coach them, you see. So the wisdom will come through. Or if you're, if you're a singer, then you won't sing, the universe will sing through you. Or if you're a dancer, you, it won't be you that's dancing, the, the universe will dance. And it will be more exquisite than anything that the, you know, the, the coaching will be the most enlightened coaching, the uh, singing would be the, you know, uh, the, the most uh, inspirational singing, or, or whatever it is you do. So that's the thing, and as you clear yourself and as your consciousness goes up, mir bigger and bigger miracles will happen, and the universe will, will, will light the way. There's one of the things I think I remember, and sort of said in Course in Miracles, like as you keep clearing the work, the universe will light the way, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily that you need to know the whole end destination. Usually as you clear the work, the next right step is lighted up for you, you see, whatever it is. Um, so, um, but definitely cancel because there can be a lot of baggage around money and spirituality.